students please open your books and we are going to start our new lesson today please uh, open page number 26 lesson number 3 in and c and 5 uh before proceeding towards lesson i will tell you something about this lesson that uh there are lots of stories about anansi and anansi is actually a folk tale character just like uh, we used to read in our um, classes fa aesop's fables uh, this is just like that character you can say a fictional character and it is believed that he was changed into a spider by his father for not giving up his mischievous ways which ways mischievous ways students if we will describe anansi then we will be good enough to describe him in two words one is trickster and other is mischievous why is the meaning of trickster trickster is a person who cheats or deceives people and mischievous is disobedient naughty troublesome you can say a mischievous person is like to have fun by uh by playing harmless tricks on people or doing things they are not supposed to do have you ever seen such person S such a person who is mischievous who likes to make fun at others uh on uh, by playing tricks on them so anansi was like that so we have come to realize that anansi was not the hero of that story isn't it so you can say that anansi stories are often funny and they also teach us lessons about the consequences of bad choices making bad choices so in this story anansi uh the spider who was a trickster he lived in a village where a witch is also living and uh, she was you can say uh his neighbor and anansi was also having children and they had no food and they were starving and all that and uh, further about anansi and his tricks and uh, what he uh, will do with other animals how he will harm them or how he will trick them we will read in the story now okay so please keep your pencils in your hands and uh, do underline hard words when i said okay right once upon a time long ago there lived a creature called anansi you see that they did not call him a uh, person they called him creature why because sometimes anansi was a spider sometimes he was a man and other time he was a strange mix of two so anansi was a trickster underline the word as i told you that trickster is a person who cheats or deceives people and he was having a difficult time and what was difficult time he was having he had no money to buy food for his family he as he walked around the village early one morning he had a scowl on his face and a growl on his stomach please underline the word scowl and underline the word growl scowl mean angry expression and growl mean to make rough sounds he was having sounds rough sounds in his stomach why because of hunger passing by a neighbor's house and as he heard something that pleased him please underline the word pleased please mean to make him happy the neighbor was an old witch she was an angry and unpleasant unpleasant witch who became furious underline the word furious it means very angry whenever anyone said her name why now this paragraph is all about that witch who was anansi's neighbor and they are telling us that she become furious she becomes very angry when somebody called her name and what was her name why she hated her name all through her life people had laughed or looked surprised when they heard what her name was can you guess her, what her name was can you guess students it was five 
हैव यू एवर हर्ड सच अ स्ट्रेंज नेम इन योर लाइफ इज इंट इट स्ट्रेंज एंड शी हैज राइट टू हेट दैट नेम बिकॉज पीपल यूज टू मोक ऑन हर पीपल यूज टू लॉफ एट हर एन एंड सी पीक्ड थ्रू अ गैप इन द विच इज विच फेंस कैन यू सी द वे एन एंड सी इज पीपिंग थ्रू द फेंस अंडरलाइन द वर्ड पीक्ड पीक्ड मीन सीक्रेट लुक टू पीप and this is uh, uh that fence it is a barrier or you can say a railing she was stirring her big cooking pot underline the word stirring it means to move one's hands to mix something pot and muttering and mumbling a spell underline a word muttering and underline mumbling as well muttering mean to speak quietly in low voice and mumbling is also having almost the same meaning it means to speak into low and in uh, in distinct manner uh, sometimes you know students sometimes when you we are angry uh, on something with our parent with our siblings with our classmates or friends we used to mumble in our mouth mumble mean that we chew words in our mouth they are not audible to others but we are speaking them that is called muttering and mumbling and what was that the smoke and sparks were blue and green so anansi knew she was cooking up some big magic this uh, kind of things you might have observed and seen in cartoons where there is a witch of big long nose and she is having pot on fire and she is and the fire and the smoke uh, is rising above and having sparks of blue and green and uh, she is reading that magic she is speaking something yani muttering and mumbling something suddenly she snatched up her staff underline the word staff student staff is a stick or pole or or you can say rod uh, sometimes they use as weapon you might have seen in cartoons and started to pound it on the ground as she walked around the pot pound means she started mayer it on the ground and she was walking around the uh, uh, in a circular motion around the pot anansi listened carefully to what she said and what she said she said i curse anyone who says the word five to disappear forever what does it mean she said that if somebody will call my name ever to mock on me or to uh, to laugh at me then she was she is having curse she was uh, mumbling the magic that he will disappear forever just imagine how uh, bad was that magic but an ansi rubbed his hands why he rubbed his hands together and jumped around on his eight hairy legs why he did that he would might be having rather he would must be having some trick in his mind ah this could make me some money or get some food on the table of my family he smiled widely and his sharp teeth sparkled and uh, students please mention today's date here uh we will inshallah complete the rest of the story uh the day after tomorrow and uh so far what we have read about anansi that he was a mischievous and trickster creature and he was always having something uh wrong about others in his mind okay so so far we have also read about the witch who was his neighbor and she was uh, mumbling some big magic on a cooking pot and anansi was passing by there and he heard what she was doing and he is having something uh, tricky in his mind tomorrow we will reveal we will read that what happened next in the story and what happened with anansi because we all have something in our mind that if somebody is trickster if somebody uh, deceive others so he will not get good at the last of the story isn't it so please students read the lesson twice 
inshallah with some uh, with new uh, with the rest part of uh, our lesson we will meet next day till then goodbye